Good shot. So I think Stephen Bock might have just got a hand on that. Otherwise it was headed for the boundary. Well, he can be unlucky. He can still smile about it, but ever so close. Richie, big back lift. Somehow the ball gets through. It misses the off stump. We hit that one straight down the ground. Beautiful shot. That may be six. What a hit. Magnificent shot by Richie. He went down the wicket. Hit through the ball, over the top of extra cover, and into the crowd for a six. What timing. And the Aussie flags fly high. It was uh, a great shot. He committed himself to that, uh, the dancing toenails. He come down the track and really went after that one. A beautiful shot. So some of the Aussie crowd now, something to shout about. Careful. That one played with the gap too. That's ten of two balls. Well, the six was the first one of the match. And that unsettled the bowler a little bit. And that one short and Richie that time onto his back foot, smashing it through cover. And Bruce Martin gives the arms a workout, but uh, this is the two paces. Victor Trumperish there. Beautiful shot. Covers a lot of ground into the crowd. And that's 15, 20 rows back, straight over mid-off. Not an easy shot, but hitting with the spin, the left arm orthodox of Bock. Well, that brings up the 50 partnership between these two. And played away towards mid wicket, and what a valuable partnership it's been. That one's flighted and smacked down the ground. One bounce for four, I'd say, perhaps two. Well, every now and again, Richie picking one that's slightly over pitch. He's advancing down the wicket, and when he does it, he's timing it nicely. That was a good shot. He's already hit a six. Open up the shoulders, the full face of the bat. A lot of space out there, probably 50, 60 metres. Single to Ritchie, and up comes the 150 for Australia in reply to New Zealand's 293. That could be 50, it is. Well played, Greg Ritchie. Fine knock. Beautifully timed off the back foot, find the, found the gap through mid wicket. Picks up three runs, and that's a fine innings going on from his tour of England where he played one or two great knocks. It's a fine performance by this young man, cementing his place in the middle order of the Australian batting lineup. 50 under enormous pressure. Well struck. Deflection. The wheels are falling off for New Zealand. The crowd coming to life. Two more runs. It was well struck by Greg Ritchie also. Ended up getting three. In the air and safe. Well over John Wright at to mid on. So Greg Ritchie's confidence really up at the moment. And that brings up the 100 partnership. There's a tremendous partnership between Ritchie and Matthews. It's good to see these two fighting back. The chips are really down and uh, I've always thought that's when batsmen are really tested and these two have come to the party matthew's looking at confidence from the minute he walked to the crease and richie has grown in confidence as he stayed out there in the air and just short of bock in fact he may have got a hand to it hadley is most upset about it slow to move i believe he did get his hands to it jeremy coney there It's going to cost him four, that full toss. Yes, if you're not going to attack in the early overs of the day, I'm not quite sure when you are going to attack. Unbelievable. 813 balls, a long stay at the crease. It's going to be a long haul to get 2293. We hit that well straight down the ground. Well, that's the first sign of aggression from Greg Ritchie, and what a good shot that was. Hit the ball nice and straight. And used his feet as well. And he's gone. 
That long vigil is over and Hadley has struck again. Four wickets to Richard Hadley on a spinner's pitch. Marvellous bowler. A great move of that ball away from the right-handed bat. And that wicket uh, brings up his 19th wicket in this series. Thus equaling his own record of 1980-81 of 19 wickets in a series against Australia. Richie driving at that ball wide of the Austin. Perhaps it was a little bit too wide to chase. He got a very substantial edge straight into the safe hands of Koenig first slip. Uh, seven for two two four.